me, Sir Henry, what do you know of the legend of the Hound of the Baskervilles? Just a pet story of the family. Pet story. Very amusing. And so to the practical point, whether it is advisable for you to travel to Baskerville Hall. Well, my answer is fixed. There isn't a devil in hell who can prevent me from going to the home of my own people. In that case, you should go to the moor. But permit us, if you will, to accompany you. Gentlemen, it'll be my pleasure to indulge you. Sir Henry, we shall rendezvous on the morning train from Waterloo. Until then, remain highly vigilant. Goodbye. We must leave in haste. Holmes, look! There's a suspicious-looking man with a suspicious black beard getting into that handsome cab ahead. Come on, Watson! Mm. Driver! Follow that cab! What are you doing out here? You'll catch your death. Get back inside. Oh, Watson. Where's our man gone? Well, he couldn't keep up. He had the towels, the bucket, the, a shoe missing. No, the man with the beard in the cab ahead. Oh, I, I don't know. He just drove off really fast. Dash and bastards. If only Sir Henry hadn't delayed us. Who was he? The squire of Baskerville Hall. We just met him in the song. A keep up, Watson. No, the man in the cab ahead with the beard. I don't know. A spy? Well, Sir Henry has evidently been very closely shadowed since he's been in town. If only we'd got the number of that runaway handsome cab. Clumsy as I may have been, you do not imagine I neglected to get the number. Number 2704 is our man. Holmes, you're incredible. Would you swear to his fit? Oh, I'll use any language you consider necessary. Never mind. It is imperative that somehow, against all the odds, we manage to find that cabby. Okay, let this impossible manhunt begin. Are you the cabby? Yes. Well done, Watson. 